Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to be with you on our third and final day of our VBS on the go this year. I know this has looked a little different than what we've done in the past. And as I stand here in Gerota Hall, I really miss you all. I miss the energy that you all bring. I miss the excitement. I miss the loud music. I miss seeing you all running up and down the halls, going from here to there to all of our different uh, enrichments. But I'm glad that we could bring this to you this way. I know this week, Mr. Justin has already touched on the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Ms. Ashley has already touched on the subject of David and Goliath. Today, I am going to bring you the story of Jesus walking on water. This is from Matthew 14, 22 through 33. This story goes like this. Jesus has just finished feeding the 5,000. He goes off, the crowd disperses, and he instructs his disciples to go on ahead to the other side of the lake. They follow Jesus' instructions, and they say that Jesus went up to pray. Now, as the disciples find themselves on the lake, they hit a heavy headwind, and they find themselves far from their land. Now, as they're Sitting there, they look out and they see something that almost looks like a ghost. They look out and see this figure coming across the lake. And they think, what is this? Is this a ghost? Someone has said. And Jesus says, be encouraged. It's me. Don't be afraid. That's from Matthew 14, 27. Now, Peter says to him, Lord, if it's really you, let me walk out onto this lake. So Jesus invites Peter to come with him. He takes a few steps out, maybe kind of precautious because nobody's ever walked on water. So he takes step after step, but then he starts to look around and instead of keeping his eyes on Jesus, he looks around and he gets distracted and he starts to fall and he hollers out for Jesus, save me. And Jesus does just that. And he says to him, you of weak faith, why did you doubt? Now, can you imagine being one of the disciples? I know a lot of you have gone out to the lake this summer and you've gone out to the beaches. What if you looked out onto the water and all you saw was this figure standing there? Now, we know that if we put our foot on top of water, we automatically go through because we're heavier than that. But when the disciples looked out onto the water that day, they saw something, and it was a miracle. It was miraculous to them. And Peter, he was challenged that day. He was challenged to look to Jesus. He had his eyes on Jesus, but when he looked away and he got distracted, he fell. And he put his faith in other things. We seem to do that so often, especially now. We seem to put our faith in so many other aspects of our lives. But in all reality, what we should be doing is focusing on Jesus. If we focus on him, if we imagine the words that he says, be encouraged, it's me, don't be afraid. Why would we need to look at anything else? Why would we need to look and to stray away from the words that Jesus gives us? The Bible is full of encouragement. The Bible is full of faithfulness. And that's what Jesus gives to us. I want to thank you all so much for being with us this week in our Vacation Bible School on the go. I hope next year we can be back with you live and in person and in Rota Hall, filled with all of our chairs, filled with all of the excitement, encouraged that maybe we can be together again by this time next summer. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your summer and stay safe.